What up, folks? BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge, number one place to be for the Impact Wrestling fans. Just announced via the Impact Wrestling Twitter, Impact Wrestling has released Scarlet Bordeaux. You know, the rumors have been out there. I wouldn't even say the rumors because Killer Cross did address a lot of this on the Pro Wrestling Perspective podcast with Petey Williams. That uh, him and Scarlet, real life couple, have requested a release from Impact Wrestling. I believe Cross has even said if they can work it out financially, then he would like to stay. Scarlet Bordeaux's contract, as opposed to Cross's, which I think was rumored to be three years, was rumored to be running out in the summer. Uh, Cross did say on the podcast that her financial situation was not great and um, that she was living with her mother, still working in a nine to five. Look, there's wrestlers on the Impact Wrestling roster that are very well taken care of by the company. And then there's those who are going to be on per appearance deals, still have to rely on their indie bookings. So her living at home, her working a nine to five, that's not on Impact Wrestling, in my opinion. Not an expert in this area at all, but I would say, you know, if it were me in that position, bust my ass till the end of the contract and then negotiate something a little bit better. But Cross did say for his particular situation that circumstances changed. Now, what does this mean for Cross? Scarlett Bordeaux's gone from the company. Is he going to be the next one to go? I, I would imagine that's probably, this is probably a precursor to him moving on as well, which sucks because this was a dude when he debuted, they really, really did it the right way. And he could have been a main event guy. But let's get back to Scarlet. They spent a lot of time building up this Scarlet character. And it had some ups and downs in my opinion. I don't know what you think about it. She came on as a full-fledged heel. It was all vignettes. It was all backstage work. I mean, this this was the, the longest build up to seeing someone finally wrestle. And she doesn't even really wrestle the knockouts. She just wrestles against uh, the dudes. And mixed tag matches with uh, Falaba. So she did the whole uh, talent search. Ends up choosing herself. Very heel move. And basically uh, has become a baby face ever since then. So I never really understood what was what were they trying to do with the Scarlet character. I think they had a... A vision for it at first it just didn't pan out that way but it really kind of seemed like it had some ups and downs because they didn't really know is she gonna be heel is she gonna be a baby face I think everything they've given her she nailed though so I would think when the summer came up you know maybe she can negotiate something better I don't know if she was you know maybe impact did not feel that she was worthy of being on a salary contract and really wanted to keep her on a per deal uh, per 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 appearance deal who really knows but Scarlett Bordeaux's gone. The Twitter uh, for Impact Future endeavored her, which was kind of silly because that's what WWE does. They've never put out any kind of tweet like that before. I don't know if it was um, trying to take a shot at her or if it was trying to use terminology that they think you're supposed to use because WWE uses it. And, and again, that's a real TNA thing to do. But Scarlett Bordeaux gone. Is Killer Cross next? We will see. Talk to you soon. Make sure you hit subscribe. Peace.